Hi everyone. Good day, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, depending on the area that you are. You're welcome back to my channel, Nikki. Nikki or Nikki's Thoughts, this channel. This afternoon, I want to bring a topic into our, our, um, our attention. I was watching um, some vlogs. I realized that um, I say this marriage is breaking up here and there here and there here and there and this marriage is is at the teaching stage of maybe six years into their marriage or just pass over six years of the marriage um and then they kind of to divorce so um i've been thinking lately about that and just to introduce myself a little bit my name is Nikki, and like I said, you're on Nikki's thoughts. Um, I'm in my 50s. I have four growing up children between the age of 23 and then 17. I'm in a marriage for 26 years. Having said that, I'm not saying my marriage is perfect. It's way far than perfect, even in my 26 years. They see so many rocky stages there. Um, like I said, I God has used me a lot for youth and singles that get into marriage through experiences that I have control in my marriage as well. And I know uh, in my early days my marriage, when I questioned God about what was going on with me, how we had God telling me that I've called you to, to heal the broken hearted, according to the book of Isaiah 1 and 61, 1 to 3 rather. And when I got to that broken hearted, it he echoes a lot in my hair, even in my, my early days in marriage. Like I said, my marriage is far from, 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 from perfect. Um, so, and I've been working, listening to messages, watching the vlogs watching marriages i actually love watching vlogs especially young couples and all sorts and i've said that in one of my um, videos before about marriage that when i watch all these videos and i do think in my head like 26 years ago when i was getting into marriage i didn't have this knowledge and the boldness so i kudos to the young couple um how they that your dream very great. I'm not saying that even the people in my age are not doing very good in their marriage. I'm just applauding you guys. You've done a great job, and and it's a pleasure um, meeting so many people on YouTube. I don't. I like I said I do watch we uh, YouTube, but I I subscribe rather, or I don't normally comment and everything, but. There's so many YouTubers there that I would tough my heart. Even in the early 30s, in the 40s, you know, early 20s, and they're doing so marvelously well in their marriage. And looking back into that age, during my time, I like, hmm, fair play to, this, to these people here. Yeah. Having said that, back to the topic why i am here this morning or this afternoon quickly i want to talk about why the marriage broke at the age um when it's getting to the six years in marriage or just right after six years in marriage why divorce i've seen that throwing across the 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 board you know and all i want to say this afternoon in that regard is marriages or marriage is like um, it's like a child okay it's like a child that you give out to a baby the day you get married it's a baby it's a baby in your hand and that baby has to be nurtured you know and a, a child that grows you know a, a one year old baby can't talk I mean a baby of a day old cannot talk cannot do anything 
Okay, but you see the progress, progress, progress. When the child is one year old, they start talking. When it's two years old, there's a different. When it's three years old, when it's four years old, when it's five years old, when it's six years old. When the child becomes six years old and he can do some certain things, then there should be a problem in, in that relationship. There should be a problem in that marriage also, you know. Even in, in, the, in the child's growth, if there's nothing, if there's no improvement, that's why in so many um, places, when your child is in one year or two years, they start going to call and crutch. From there, they go to maybe toddler. From toddler, they go to Montessori. From Montessori, they now move into the primer and to senior infants in some countries. Junior infants first and senior infant. By primary, by the age of six, they now move to primary one because at this stage, they are well developed, developed developed and the same thing with the marriage i'm just going to just want to put a, a point or two there about the marriage so i I'm, I'm going to just to say that you know i i do talk to young people i do talk to um they help people before you know that want to get into marriage about 15 years now and then i always tell them that hold on when your marriage is getting to six years in marriage hold on hold on if you can pass through that stage, if there's no spiritual attack, if there's no physical attack, your marriage will succeed, will survive. Okay. Having said that, I just want to like it, liken this marriage, a marriage, to six the four stages of development of the child development. In the child development, we have what is called sensimori stage. When you first get married, and your your baby a day old. You know, do not forget that marriage is a, a, a only institution that you get your certificates before you enter. Okay, and then so I have that four stages written down here. Four stages of child development is the same thing that applies to marriage because the day you get married, if you're not living together, as if you're not cohabiting together, the day you start living together as couple, that's a day is a baby, a, a, a whole. Um, a one day old baby that needs to nurture, breastfeed, do everything possible, both ways to make sure that that uh, you survive. That stage is called sensei, sensei motor stage, and it's between the zero to twelve, um, zero to twelve and um, two years old. This stage is a period where learning takes place. Learning occurs through this stage in a child, also in a marriage. That is when you go to start finding out about the physical environment. That's where you start learning about yourself, especially if you're just getting um, getting pregnant. That's how you start learning about your spouse as well. And that's how you're just learning about yourself. I believe that um, love is blind and then marriage is eye opener. That's all I always that's how I always put it. That's where you begin to understand yourself okay this stage where develop an understanding for a marriage through trial and error that's where you're going to find out some few things that you've never found out about your spouse and i don't believe that the longer you stay in a relationship the 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 the, the, the more you get to know your spouse no i was in relationship for eight years my my spouse my husband and i were together for like eight years cutting and then she he traveled house and then he came, uh, yeah, I, I came to meet him you know all together it's eight years I think we're together in like four years back home and then they travel to Europe and then I came to meet him but I said don't know him until we start living together that's what I get to find out who he is so in the early marriage you might not know your your spouse so when you just get married that's the stage that you're getting to know each other you're finding out much about each other at that stage and in this stage your basic understanding of what marriage looks like you're finding out about your spouse you know things that you don't even know some certain things that you can't take some certain you know if your your spouse fats if he has any irritability and um, um, behavior that's how you're going to find out and everything you get to find out the basic knowledge about your marriage when you're on the sense motor motor stage this, the stage that is very very crucial because I don't want this um, this video to be long. 
the state that is very very crucial is pre operational stage and this stage is between two and seven years and this is a stage that is very crucial in this stage the child or the marriage begin to engage in symbolic play that's why you know a few things that you've learned in in your first in your zero to two years in the marriage you started to you know um having some symbolic play learning to manipulate some situation learning to accept things that you're not uh, things and there are some characteristics learning to be able to talk a bit you know you were talking in this time around the high opener your high is now open to who you are and who your partner is and i do say in a marriage as well that your personality you brought into marriage is not your final personality or who you are before you get to marriage it's not your final personality it is who you meet you start living with that determine how you're going to end up you know if you're in a very good in a relationship or you compromise each other too much that is very good in a situation whereby both of you clash you're just two different individuals that could be so difficult so in that stage you will learn some key features of pre operational stage in marriage which is i said between seven between two to seven years old if any relationship any growth is going to happen if a child is going to develop teeth develop all organs of the body at this stage that child has already developed okay by the age of six if a child cannot talk properly then there's a problem there if a child cannot reason properly there is a problem there in a relationship and you need attention well that doesn't mean that you should throw away towers in this it's called one of the features there is centration in centration is a tendency of focusing on one particular aspect of your marriage you might be no this is not what i'm expecting and you focus on that and forget about every other thing that is good i do say something i said um if somebody has eight good attributes out of ten attributes and two is not good if you start complementing those three eight attributes before you know you have swallowed up the two attributes the person will get that two attributes or you you might actually you might be able to manage it but if you're looking at that two i bad attributes about the person you know um it can uh, the two or the one that is not good you can actually spoil the all good behavior attitude that person and in this pre-operational stage is called centration when you focus on a particular issue you focus on a particular part of the situation and forget about every other thing that is good around you it's going to affect you it's going to affect your marriage it's going to affect your thinking it's going to affect that marriage if you focus on a particular aspect of your past uh, your your spouse you know and then then another thing there it's um, for the futures of the pre-operational stage another stage is symbolic in a symbolic presentation you pretend you just pretend to play you pretend okay you're not accepting the situation but instead of finding a way to deal with that like a child a child will see a doll you will call a doll a baby you will call a call um um they like lion and they have the lion they have a toy and they turn that they symbolize that they play with the toy so they pretend that toy is seen that's why you will see a child building a um using a mud or something to build a house you know they try to play and then again in in that it's a, a, another features of pre-operational stage between two and seven years in a marriage when you're getting to know each other there's something there's another character now things that you're supposed to talk about you leave it you pretend then again in this stage that is the stage that egocentric develop everybody you yourself at this stage especially between the two and four years of your marriage you want to find out who you are you want to relate a lot about yourself you want to talk about yourself you want to you want to know i have a future for myself this is what i figure out that i'm going to be in the future this is i i, I don't see this you know manifesting and then your spouse as well it has its own you are developing individual you you were you were just concentrate that is when 
In this state, you can be feeling so bad for yourself when you are the four years of a marriage and things are not working well or you are not realizing what you said you want to realize. You can be frustrated. You can be frustrated. And this can actually affect your marriage. Okay? It's, 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 uh, uh, that stage is very, very essential. And then in that stage as well, you can be artificial, pretending to the old world that the old thing is good, why things are not good? Things that were supposed to be ironing out, you was you are sweeping it under the carpets. Okay, it's going to bust, and when it bursts, it's going to affect it all lot. It's going to cause a lot of thing. But that's the stage. That's the stage. Two years in a marriage, seven years in a marriage is when you're trying to find out who you are. That's when you want to find that your your you will notice that okay. Anyway, in that marriage. There's a little bit of you that want to or you want to develop, you want to find out who you are. And then the same thing with your spouse. Everybody is just trying to find out. So, and in that regard, in most cases, when you're in that stage, you're not happy. But inside of you, talking about that happiness or desire or whatever that is going on, you throw that on top of if God, I mean, if God bless that home with a child, then the child in the question or the children in the question, you put all everything on top of them, like trying to put all the affection, the frustration, the everything or all your love, you know, trying to let go of what was going on or what was what was affecting the marriage or what is going on in the marriage. That is not going to save the situation. I have been there. I swept a lot under the carpet when you were supposed to be talking. You know, there's a time that you may, you will have to talk. There's a time that you will keep quiet. You know, you shouldn't be putting things under the carpet. You need to talk about it. There's these features that I just mentioned. I really wanted to talk about this topic a lot, but I don't want to get out of my time. I don't want to spend too much time because I don't want to bust them and put people away. But it's very essential. That when you are in two to seven years in your marriage, wait a little longer. If you look at the percentages of marriage that broke down, they broke down at the age of six years, going to get to the seventh year. After the seventh years of marriage, the next stage is concrete concretization marriage. That time, if your marriage survived seventh year, if there's no attack on it, if there's no default, if there's no problem in that marriage, the marriage starts to, you start to raise a way in your marriage. You start to raise a way in your marriage. I might have to come back and do this because I really want to talk about the, oh, um, this, this properly. The concrete operation stage is between 7 to 11 years. If you can just wait a little longer, a little longer. When you're going through a, 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 a stuff in your marriage, Please wait a little longer, a little longer. If you let's look, just let at that six years past. Anybody that is listening to me, either you're a man or a woman, just allow that six years to pass. Allow the seven years to come. Things will fall out into place because it's a developing stage. Between the zero to seven years is a developing stage. And when you get to the four years and seventh year, you you will be so irrational you'll be so frustrated you just want to get up you want to know oh i'm not i'm not fulfilling i'm not it, that is if you're having that kind of problem in your marriage okay because everybody is trying to get to know each other you're coming from different background you're not the same so it's going to affect the way you think it's going to affect yourself it's going to affect um um yourself and again this is a new identity in you as a mother or as a father this is a new responsibility okay it's a new board game entirely and then you learn my mom will say you will learn you keep learning learning in marriage and then again i want to put it there marriage is not for you to it's it's a part of the package that god has for you it's not a complete package okay and don't brood on that too much. But don't throw away towers. Do everything possible to save that marriage. Just wait a little bit, a little bit longer. Let that six years pass. Let the seven years pass. And then you will see things falling into place again. It's like a child. When you now get to seven years and you know that the problem is still there and there's no, there's no solution to the problem, then there's a cause for alarm. 
there is a cause for alarm but if at that stage you still not get into that stage i would implore you not to throw towards yours okay just keep going keep going i'm not saying you should stay in an abusive relationship i'm not saying you should stay in a um in a relationship that is not adding to you at all or that is it will affect you affect the children you are bringing on to this world or you're nurturing i'm not saying i'm not saying that but don't keep quiet allow they stay a little bit longer in that pre-occupational stage which is between six two to seven years of marriage don't throw the words statistically marriage broke down at six years and this problem as you start identifying this problem that you have the first two years yes you're getting to know so many things okay in your marriage it's like a baby trying to find himself trying to be able to talk trying to be able to walk but the two years you think oh okay this is this this is that you start speaking things and all that and then by the time you get to four years you're looking at i want to do this your husband wants to do this your wife wants to do this you too you want to do this everybody to yourself it's normal it's part of the growing it's part of development but it can clash if there's no understanding if the husband does not understand if the wife does not it can clash it can clash a lot and then that is where you feel especially women we feel so bad for ourselves when we're raising up the children when we're doing this especially when we're not um we're not fulfilling the purpose when we think our our purpose is lost in that marriage okay and and the demand as well they can feel inadequate or whatever that is going on in their life so i just want to end this note here please if your marriage is six years and you have an issue if you're a man or a woman please say give it a go give it a go just stay a little bit why not throw towards because you're you're stepping you're stepping into your concrete operational stage whereby you will solidify your marriage whereby you you start enjoying you start in in the concrete operational um, marriage what happened there is i have it said that during this period they become more aware of external events or as well as feeling of others so you're not thinking about yourself anymore you're thinking about both of you now but initially in the in the in the in the pre-occupational stage that i mentioned or operational stage that i mentioned between two and seven years it's 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 you will feel bad for yourself you will see see feeling bad for yourself i'm not fulfilling purpose i'm just raising children all i have to do is be breastfeeding it's not I, I i mean it doesn't see from my own point of view so you're focusing on that it's like a child that's a three-year-old child and a 10-year-old okay they gave the the mom gave them the same portion of pizza but cut one into six for the three-year-old and then gave the whole lot to the five to this 10 years old the 10 year old understand that is the same quantity that is on the plate there that is air but the three years old will understand that ice food or a food is more than that one and the and the uh, but more than his sis or brother the 10 year old oh i have because the the pizza is being caught in six seven places for her so the same thing with the marriage so i want to end it here i mean it was the same thing with the way we think so we have to look into situation and make sure that we get the best out of that situation. Don't throw to us. Allow yourself to grow. Allow maturity to set in. I'm not trying to be rude to anybody. No matter who you are, no matter how clever or wise you are, your first seven years of your marriage, you're still immature in marriage. It's when you get to the primary one, primary two, that you can claim that you've matured in marriage. It's a bug, different bug game. My mom has been married, that daddy has been married. It's a different bug game entirely. It's a different bug game. When you step into that marriage, it's your own cup of tea. I have seen so many people that I've told, you know, in the last 15 years, you know, um, helping the young people to come out, you know, learning from my own mistakes. I do talk about my mistake a lot 
in marriage, I do say a lot, even when I'm teaching the young people about marriage, that name, yeah. But I do tell them, please wait a little bit for a little bit. If you feel like you want to divorce, leave it alone. When you're six years, when the seven, six, between six and seven years, everything will calm down. If it doesn't calm down, then there's a problem spiritually. There's a problem there that, that has been buried under the carpet that has not been ironing out, that needs to be ironed out. So a um, concrete marriage is when you are aware of yourself, then you have no self egocentric, especially men in the last page, in the last, in the second stage of development, they are a service egocentric. Not only men, even with women. And again, the former operational stage will be they be able to use logical to solve pro logic to solve problems, view world around them, view marriage, and then plan for their future. So the four stages there is of child development that I'm going to call marriage development is the first one there I mentioned quickly is the sensory mo mo motor stages and the second one is preoccupational stage, operational stage, which that is the most dangerous one. And that's where people, you know, call it off, say, no, I'm not going any further. And then the concrete operational stage, that's when maturity setting, that's when you start enjoying your marriage. That's where you'll be able to think about things, think about yourself, think about your spouse, not feeling so bad for yourself that, oh, I'm not making it. My, I'm not being good in my marriage. My husband is not making my life so easy for me. My wife is, you know, we, at that stage, you're not focusing on yourself anymore. You're not self, self, selfless or self-awareness. Now you're putting your spouse into consideration and the children into consideration and you're finding your feet you're finding your good you're finding your happiness as well in that marriage um yeah and then you realize that marriage is not from it's not do, do and die if i i'm not mean that you get out of the marriage that's what i mean by do and die what i mean is okay because of the marriage i cannot make it in life no you can't make it you can actually just swing in around and, and then the last stage is a, a formal operational stage whereby you'll be able to reason, whereby you'll be able to solidify yourself, whereby you'll be able to logically think about the problem and solve the problem and, f and then you plan for the future. They will always rub off of that greatness in the marriage, especially when the marriage is going to be great. Before the marriage, it's the age seven years, it's going to stop that marriage. And because we don't know, and in my marriage, I've been, like I said, been 26 years. <laughs> I find that there's a lot going on, okay? The marriage is there to be enjoyed, okay? Awareness and knowledge is power, okay? And and uh, because you didn't get right, that doesn't mean that if you try another person, you're going to get it wrong or you're going to go it right. But just wait a little bit further and see. When the marriage is past eight years old, and you still have a problem, then you can throw away the towers. You could do whatever you want to do with that marriage. Or in the last, between the zero to seven, eight years, give your marriage a chance to survive the blow, to survive the growing stage. I'm going to end it there. And thank you for joining me this afternoon or today. Until I hear your voice again, please subscribe. I'm pressing the the notification bell and comments under this if you if you feel if you like please comment comment and until you hear my voice again on nikki's thoughts god bless you bye see you bye love you